I picked up some bronze filament and some copper filament. Let's print something. It's Filament Friday. Now the first filament I'm going to use is the Shaxon PLA metal infused copper filament. To test out this filament, I'm going to use this simple chess pawn piece that I featured in my book, Beginner's Guide to 3D Printing. Now it seems like a simple print, but I've had a lot of problems printing this thing as a single unit. It's because of the angles and the ball on the top, it actually fails multiple times. So this to me is a good test print. And here's proof. I printed this on my DaVinci that's reflashed with Repetier and sliced it with Cura. And this was the result, a very bad print. So I decided to try a lower temperature. So I went to the configuration button at the slicer for Cura and then I went to the filaments tab and made sure I had the PLA listing for this setup. Then I made sure it was set to 190 degrees C and ran it again. And this was the result. A little better at the base, but the top of it was still really bad. So I decided to try Slicer instead. Slicer has worked for me in the past when I tried to print this in wood and other PLAs. So I went to the settings for Slicer and I made sure it was set to 190 degrees. And then I sent that to the printer. And here's the result. It looks a lot better and this is a 0.3 layer height. But I noticed it was printing a lot slower under Slicer. So I decided to go back to Cura and print two of them. And this is what I got, like a skeleton print. The filament wasn't coming out constantly. It was clogging up. And this happened multiple times. So now I haven't done a ton of printing with PLA, but I haven't had a whole lot of problems either. Every once in a while it would clog up or stick and I'd have to clean out the extruder. But this was happening over and over again with these pawn pieces. And I had heard from several people that PLA, because it's a vegetable base, can actually stick to the heated extruder, the same way food sticks to a frying pan. So the solution is to add oil to the surface of the filament and that way it's like oil on the frying pan, stops it from, from sticking. So what I did is I found this uh, foam cleaning brush from my wife's kitchen and I just poked off one of these little, little sponges. She won't even miss it. And then I got a spring-loaded uh, clothespin and it's got a nice hole in the center here so I can put the foam in here soaked in olive oil press it down and the filament should be able to slide right through it and then once she figured out what I was doing she let me take the olive oil there was only a little bit left so I could soak the sponge in this and put it all together and it worked great I never had another problem with the PLA let me show you what this thing looked like and here it is mounted around the filament just above the extruder so it wiped it down before it entered the tube. It worked great. So after I got that solved, I ran it through Slicer at a 0.2 layer height and it printed out beautifully. This was my best copper filament print. To verify that it was printing slower in Slicer, I looked at the print time. It was 58 minutes in Slicer and only 17 minutes in Cura. So clearly there was something different. So I went back to the configuration settings, this time for Cura, and then I went under the Speed and Quality tab, under the Print tab for the settings. And then I looked at the times. Everything is millimeters per second. The print time was about 40 millimeters per second, travel time 150, and the uh, infill was like 60 millimeters per second. So I said, okay, now let's look at Slicer. So I went to the Slicer configuration, and the numbers were almost identical. About the same speed for infill, perimeters, and even the travel time was the same. So I don't know why Cura was so much faster. So now I tried the eSun bronze filament and I printed two under Cura. And it was better than the copper, but it was still bad. So then I tried slicing in the slicer and it printed slower and I printed two of them and they came out great. Look at these things. To just throw a wrench in all this, I tried Simplify 3D, saved it as a file, brought it into Repetier as G-code, and it printed out as a single pawn and looked great. So then I went back and used Slicer at a .2 settings and printed that from Repetier, and it looked as good, if not maybe a little bit better. So I added these to my collection. I now have a copper, bronze, wood, 
PLA Natural, and one from Professional Shapeways in Sandstone that I printed for my book. So as you can see, I'm generating a whole collection of custom chest bonds. It's my way of testing different filaments. And based on these filaments, I like the shacks in copper better than the E-Sun. Now one thing the E-Sun did a couple times is the way it was wrapped on the spool, it hung up and actually ruined a couple prints because it wouldn't, wouldn't let the filament out. So I don't know if that's just I got a bad batch or if they just don't take care in you know, winding it properly. So that's something I'm worried about. I'm going to try and see if I can find some of this Shaxon in a bronze to see if it prints any better. Now I know a chest pawn isn't the most exciting Filament Friday print, but I wanted to try out these filaments. And a special thank you to my Patreon supporters because you guys bought those filaments. I wouldn't have bought that extra filament if I didn't have the support. So it's nice to be able to try these other filaments and show you guys the results. And testing on the chest pawn is just my way of doing it. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to help support future Filament Fridays or buy more filament, please consider supporting me through the Patreon account. A dollar a month helps a lot. So that's all I got for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.